always tell people, okay, don't start to build immediately, right? Understand what data do you have? What is the person actually going to do with it? Data, uh, data analyst or the person from the business, doesn't matter. And then make the decision in between what to do. Right? Because you don't want to build a stream processing when somebody just wants to have a dashboard that every day gets, gets, gets used once. That's, that's the idea behind it. So how would that change then for AI engineer? Let's say people have, have a natural language interface. So you would, you would ask them, mm. what data are you requesting and how, like, what's the difference? Yeah, it's interesting because it's in the, it, it's the nuances, I feel. I guess what I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say, but I guess it's as, as much as it is an art as it is like science in some ways, because you have to get create like when you have something as fluid as language, um, you have to in inject some sort of creativity to make it work. And sometimes you have an opportunity to delight someone in that case. And I think it's, it's probably, there's a whole world of people waiting to be delighted by the fact that they have access to real-time data. And I think the penny like slowly will drop over time just because of this, this interface just naturally lends itself to it. You don't need to know about distributed systems. And this is, this is really just building on all the good work that data engineering and system design is done already, which is to build a good abstraction already, which is a SQL interface, a SQL engine. 